Hi everyone, I'm Michelle Corwin with Retique It, and I would like you to join me on a little journey on the transformation of this table and how I achieved this beautiful wood finish. When I'm feeling inspired, it's easy to get up early. While I'm not really a morning person, when inspiration hits me, it's my wake-up call. I like to grab a cup of coffee, in my blue willow of course, and I start searching for ideas. I like to treat each piece like it's a unique piece of artwork. But I'll admit that sometimes I need a little bit of help with some caffeine and some visual inspiration. Magazines and scrolling through Pinterest, they seem to be a gold mine when I'm looking for wood finish ideas and paint colors that complement. After looking through lots of pictures, I finally found my inspiration, or at least I think I did. I decided I wanted to go with a French bistro vibe. We take its ultra teak in midnight black for the bottom and a sort of rustic French oak for the top. I want to go with the new wooden stain by Retique It. It's like a gel stain, but it's made out of liquid wood so by using it, I can give the piece a new wood finish exactly the way I want it. I knew that this look was going to require some practice, so I decided that I needed to get a linoleum floor tile. I started with the wooden primer by Retique It. It really only took one coat, and then I went right in after it was dry and used the whitewash. And then after that was dry, I did a thin coat of the weathered wood, wooden stain. And then I actually went in and did a little touch here and there of the pecan retique it water-based gel stain. There was a spot I really wasn't happy with, so I just had to go back over it with the wooden primer, touch it up, and went back and repeated the step. After some trial and error, I finally got the look that I was going for. So now I'm ready to go ahead and apply this technique to the table. The first step I did was really easy. I just went ahead and cleaned the surface and I used equal parts denatured alcohol and water and just wiped it down really good. Next I used the Retique It Ultra Teak in Midnight Black and I used this on the base. I went ahead and applied the Midnight Black in Ultra Teak and it went on really nice and smooth. This part was so easy and really fun because it was a quick transformation on the bottom, making it in a nice black color and uh, really only had to do one coat. Next I applied the Retique It Wooden Primer and this is a really nice natural wood color. It's really light and it gives you great coverage. It goes on nice and smooth. Wooden primer is made out of wood just like wooden stain. Applying it as the base coat covers up the original finish and gives it a new wood finish. And that beautiful variation going back and forth between the wooden stain and the wood primer. Next, I went ahead and cleaned my brush. One thing I did notice with using wooden stain and wooden primer is you have to take a little extra care in cleaning your brush. I used a product called Goof Off, which cleans this very quickly, but I will say that for the next time that I'm using the wooden stain or the wooden primer products, I will always use a wonder brush because those brushes clean out very easily. And that's the Retique It Wonder Brush. It really makes a big difference because its bristles are very, very fine and smooth, and therefore it makes it really easy to clean. 
Now I just went ahead and used the blow dryer to speed up the drying process. And then I went ahead and did a second coat of the wooden primer. Now I'm applying the wooden stain in weathered Let's wood. See. Okay. Just kind of pull it through. Nice. Now I could have used Reed Teakett's regular water-based gel stain, but in this situation I wanted the wooden stain because it is made up of real wood fibers and I wanted that texture and that real wood feel and look. I put it on very lightly and then gently fold the graining tool through. I will say that when I first started graining I was very hypercritical and I was actually scared to use the graining tool. But now that I've used it so many times and used wooden stain and the liquid wood products, I'm not afraid at all because I know you can't mess up and you can always go back over and fix your mistakes. All you have to do is make sure it's dry and I'm actually going to show you a mistake that I went ahead and fixed later on. And after I felt like I had enough of the gray, I went in with the whitewash wooden stain. Now all I'm doing is just deciding certain areas that I want some of the gray grain and just kind of blending it in as I see fit. And this is where the artist really comes out in you. Uh, it's really fun and it's it's where you do a lot of just adding here and there, but you can see that there's really no rhyme or reason as to where I put the stripes because natural wood has variations and it has a unique, different grain for every piece, so you really can't mess up. This is really going to be up to you at this point, but go ahead and really just practice. That's going to be the key. Here's a fun little fact. Wooden stain was originally developed to be applied over decking. After testing it, we realized that because it's water-based and has hardly any odor, it would also work great over anything from furniture to garage doors, as well as decking. So when I'm done with this little piece, I could actually put it on the patio and not have to worry. I will say as an artist, midway through, there's always that point that you sort of panic and think that you've ruined it. But that's the point where you gotta keep moving forward and keep experimenting and you'll be amazed at what you end up creating.
Now it's time for the finishing touch. I decided to use the Reticit water-based gel stain in pecan. It's a beautiful golden stain that goes on very lightly, but it gives a nice warmth. And so I wanted to hit different angles and different parts of this surface and give it that warmth that I felt like it needed. I absolutely love how it turned out. And last but not least, I went with the Triple Teak for the top coat. Now I chose Triple Teak in the matte finish because I didn't want it to be shiny. I wanted it to go for more of a rustic look. And I was really pleased with the results. It, it gave me the exact finish that I was going for. So whenever you wanna go for more of a rustic, rugged look, check out Triple Teak in the matte finish. I think you'll be pleased. Triple Teak is one of the most durable top coats around and I use it for pretty much all of my tabletops because it can take the wear and tear of little kids and absolutely love how easily it, you can apply it and how fast it dries. So I know this is a really small piece, but what I like to do is start small, really master the wood finish that you're going for, and then take it up a notch and do a larger table. But I love this piece. I think it would look good in almost any home and in a nice little corner or a side table beside a sofa would be beautiful. I tested on this tile. Remember it's linoleum floor tile and to me it pretty much came out identical. So I think we were spot on on this. So um, I am so pleased with how this turned out. It reminds me of a little French bistro table, nice little accent table. I absolutely love it and I hope you do too. And I hope you've enjoyed the journey of watching me transform it. Mm -hmm.